Hey YouTubers, Mo here from Mo's Motorcycle Journey. On my way into town to pick up some oil for the Goldwing. Ah, uh, hey, hey, biker. Hey. Uh, the last oil I picked up was not the oil I wanted, and now I'm on my way to get the right stuff. Of course, I called to make sure they had it. So, start the intro. <laughs> and drain the oil again um, just wanted to make sure I got all the sea foam out all the carbon deposits of course I didn't put the sea foam in the gas however I I did put it in or I didn't put it into the oil however I did put it into the gas so I still had some carbon deposits in there um, I'm pretty sure I wanted to to change the oil again, the last oil I used was the uh, Castrol 10W40 Full Synthetic. I am not using that this time. I got me my Valvoline 10W40 Full Synthetic. Four stroke motorcycle oil. Um, best oil on the market, I feel. I'm going to go ahead and of course, I got this out of it already, and I'm just filling it back up with the uh, the Valvoline. So we'll see how that gets, how that motor accepts that, and see how good she is. Sorry about the movement here. I'm only one person today. I don't have my camera guy, which is my son. So she don't look like she's barely out there, so we gotta dump a little more in. Need two hands. Okay, give her another check. Again, like I said, guys, you just wanna slide that thing in there. You don't wanna push her all the way in. I mean, she looks like she's could use a little bit more. Let's do that. Okay. First start, let's turn that down so YouTube doesn't block me. Okay, take the cruise off, here we go. To me it already sounds better. But we're just starting here to give her a check to make sure we got the right level. There's no oil light on, so we're good there. Um, I think that's enough running it. So let me check this again. What I love, something about Valvoline, I just, this sounds really good. So we'll cut her down and give her another check here just to be on the safe side. Never can't check it enough, I guess. Okay, we're going to have to get her out of here just to get a accurate check on her and let her sit for a few. Okay, folks, like I said, I'm a Valvoline guy. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure there's going to be people out there that disagree with me. I don't care. Just personal preference. Uh, I was using this, this Castrol Power One. I, I, I didn't really like it. Um, I, you know, I put Valvoline in my cars. I just, full synthetic actually, but I just didn't, I couldn't find the Valvoline for stroke motorcycle oil full synthetic when I originally did the oil change. So, um, I wanted to, looks like it's going to rain. I wanted to make sure, uh, I got the right level in here and you know, I wanted to make sure I got that Castrol out of there. I'm not a Castrol fan, but like I said, that was the only thing I could find. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. Uh, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. I'd appreciate that. Put your little bell on there. Hit the little bell or whatever. So you, you know you know how it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get this out and get her on, get her out there, and just see what she, how level she is, and as in the oil level, because I want it to be correct. Okay, took her out for a run. Actually, just did 20 miles. And I will tell you, the Valvoline is perfect for that wet clutch. That's all I got to say. Um, again, other people might prefer something different. It doesn't matter to me. It's personal, personal preference. If you've never ran Valvoline full synthetic in your motorcycle, give it a shot. Because that you can tell the difference in that clutch every time you hit that, that shifter. It, it just feels totally different. So, there you have it.